What is up you guys? It's me Skylar. So today I thought that I would show you guys my 23 and me results. So on December 25th, Christmas, I got my 23 and me kit. I spit into the little tube and I sent it out and it finally came on, it was like the end of January that it came. So it took so long, but I have my results on my phone and I am so excited to show you guys. So, let's get into the video. So, it turns out that I am 98.7% European. And I'm like, that is a lot. Like, I did not know I was that European. And it says that I'm Northwestern European, 57.8%. And I'm also 42% British and Irish. Now, I can't do an Irish accent, but I can do British, or British. So, I think that's pretty correct. So that means that some of my relatives were from Britain. Like, that's why I can do this voice. Central and Southern Ireland. Now, if you know how to do an Irish accent, let me know. I don't know how to do an Irish accent. So, I need to learn. Then, I'm 10.7%. French and German. It says that there's 16 regions, there's country matches. So there's a high chance that some of my relatives were from Switzerland. Switzerland, out of all places, and, and the Netherlands. So I'm also Southern European and Italian. And I knew I was Italian, but I guess I'm more British than I am Italian. So I'm 31% Italian, 31.3% to be exact. I'm also Sardinian, 0.9%. Don't know what that is, but I'm not much of it. And here's the crazy one that I was like, what? I am Ashkenazi Jewish. So I'm a Jew. Now I don't celebrate Hanukkah, or anything like that, but my ancestors were Jewish. Maybe that's why I have a Jewish nose. Do I have a Jewish nose? I feel like I do. Now, here's the crazy part, y'all. I'm also Western Asian and North African. Okay, I'm not that much, but I'm 1%, 1.2%. Western Asian and North African. Now, by looking at me, I don't think you would think I was either of those things. Now, I have gotten that I look Asian or half Asian. I'm like, I look Asian. I mean, I don't think I do. Comment down below if you think I do. I don't think I do. But I've gotten that because my last name is Lee and they're like, oh, are you half Asian? I'm like, no. Now, I've never gotten North African before because, I mean, you know. Here's where it gets a little bit fancy. They tell you about things in your family. So it says Skyler. Based on your genetics, you are less likely than average to have a bunion. It's a bony bump on the joint of your big toe. My dad has a bunion. I don't have a bunion, so thank you, mom, for giving me that gene. Or not giving me that gene. Here's the even stranger part, y'all. They said, you are more likely to have a fear of public speaking. I mean, I have a whole YouTube channel. I don't think that I have a fear of public speaking. YouTube, you're not talking in front of people. Yeah, but if I did have to talk in front of 10,700 people, I would be okay. It says I'm less likely to be afraid of heights. That's true because I did gymnastics for however many years and I was fine. I didn't have any fears. I mean, of course I had fears, but like normal fears, you know? Not like, oh my gosh, I'm two feet off the ground. Here's something called misophonia, and it's hating the sound of chewing. You have slightly lower than average odds of hating the sound of others chewing. So I guess I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, sometimes when I hear people chew, I think it's like ASMR, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Okay, no, this is wrong. They said that I'm unlikely to have a photic sneeze reflex. I have photic sneeze reflex. Every time I'm in the sun, I sneeze. So 23andMe, you're incorrect. I have that. So I don't know why you're telling me I don't have it. Get it right, 23andMe. Get it right. 
Your genetics make you likely to be able to detect certain bitter tastes. I guess I could take taste things and I taste when they're bitter, I guess they taste really bitter to me. I, mean, I don't really eat bitter foods because I love sweet foods, so. Neanderthal, here's the part that I was like, what? You have more Neanderthal DNA than 10% of other customers. Neanderthals are like our ancestors from like back in the day, the ones that like looked like gorillas. So I am a gorilla. So my ancestors were like gorillas? Are you telling me that I look like a gorilla? What? Okay, but they did say that I generally don't feel hangry. I mean, I do get hangry. I don't know what they're talking about. So, so I have a, a bad sense of direction. One bad sense of direction. Um, I don't know if I do. I mean, I never like measured it or anything, but okay. You have one variant being less likely to prefer salty foods over sweet. That's 100% true. I do not like salty foods. Now they're saying that I have dandruff. I don't have dandruff. There are other ones on there like deep sleep, lactose intolerant, genetic weight, type two diabetes, all that stuff, but it's on lock, so I have to pay my money. If you guys want me to do that, comment down below. Comment down below if you think I should do that right now. I have some traits. I do have some traits. I'm less likely to be able to match a musical pitch. Unfortunately, they said that I'm not a singer. And that's kind of rude. They say I have a slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro or cilantro. I don't think I like cilantro. Hair thickness, less likely to have thick hair. Um, hello? Hello? I have thick hair. They said I'm more likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla ice cream. That's very true. I am not a vanilla girly. I mean, I say I'm not a vanilla girly, but when I do have vanilla, I'm like, oh my god, it's kind of good. Okay, mosquito bites. If you know me, you know I have bad mosquito bites. They said that I'm likely bitten more often than others. Y'all, you got all that from my saliva? They said I'm likely to wake up around 9 a.m. How do they know that from my saliva? Here's some fun facts for you. Cheek dimples. Do I have dimples? I have one right there. They said there's a 58 chance that I do not have dimples. You're correct. 56% you have had dandruff? When have I had dandruff, 23 and me? What are y'all talking about? And they said that my ring finger is longer than my index. That's true! <gasps> and they said there's you have 63% chance you have any freckles. Like you don't have many freckles. I don't know if you said, but I do have freckles. So, I mean, I don't really know if I have a lot of freckles. I feel like I have a medium amount. No, they said I had little to no hair at birth. No, I actually had a lot of hair at birth. Oh, not my head, not on my body, on my head. 99% chance you do not have red, red hair. Yes, but there's 1% chance you have. My aunt has red hair. Did you know that, 23 me? I bet she did. You knew I was gonna say that. If you want a part two of this, I am happy to do it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And if I were to make a part two, I would go on 23 me and I have a bunch of relatives on there and I would contact them. And if you want that in my next video, let me know. And I'll see you in my next video, which is next Saturday. Make sure to comment down below if you want a part two. Bye guys.